In today's episode, you will learn how to make an Arduino based 110 or 220 volt AC bulb dimming control system using MOC 3021, BDA 16 trike, and a zero crossing detector circuit based on the EL817 optocoupler. The brightness can be controlled using the potentiometer. The zero crossing detector circuit is designed in such a way that it provides complete isolation between the AC side and the controller side. So if any fault or short circuit happens on the AC side, it will have no effect on the controller side. In this episode, we will cover number one, zero crossing detector circuit explanation. Number two, light dimming circuit explanation. Number three, Arduino programming and finally number four, testing. Let's get started. The components used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. The zero crossing detector circuit is very simple. Let's start with the 12 volt step down transformer. You can use a 220 volt or 110 volt to 12 volt transformer. The secondary side of the transformer is connected with the AC input legs of the bridge rectifier. This is the bridge rectifier as you can see it has four legs. Two legs are labeled with the AC signs and two legs are labeled with the plus and minus signs. The purpose of the bridge rectifier is to convert the AC into DC. Three 10K resistors are connected in series which makes the voltage divider circuit. With the help of these resistors, the voltage is reduced to 4 volts. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with the IR LED of the EL817 optocoupler. This is the EL817 optocoupler as you can see. It has total of 4 legs. Leg number 1 is the anode and leg number 2 is the cathode. Leg number 3 is the emitter while leg number 4 is the collector. This is a current limiting resistor while cathode of the IR LED is connected with the ground of the bridge rectifier. On the right side of the EL817, a 10K resistor is connected with the collector while the other side of the 10K resistor is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. While the emitter of the EL817 is connected with the Arduino's ground. Pin number 4, which is the collector, is also connected with the Arduino's pin number 2. As you can see clearly, the Arduino side has no physical connection with the transformer side. So if anything happens on this side, it will have no effect on the other side. Now let's have a look at the dimming circuit. The AC bulb dimming circuit is based on the MOC3021 opto isolator trike driver and BDS16 trike. The MOC3021 has actually a total of 6 pins, but pin number 3 and pin number 5 are not used. Pin number 1 is the anode and pin number 2 is the cathode as per the data sheet. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with the anode of the IR LED. This is a current limiting resistor and will be connected with the Arduino. This pin will be defined in the programming. Pin number 4 and pin number 6 are the main terminals as per the data sheet. 330 ohm resistors are connected with pin number 4 and pin number 6 of the MOC3021. This is the BTA16 trike. Let's have a look at its data sheet. As you can see it has three legs. First leg is the main terminal 1. Second leg is the main terminal 2 while third leg is the gate. The BDA16 trike can handle load up to 16 amps 825C. For higher load, large heatsink should be used. The other side of the R2 resistor is connected with the main terminal 1 of the trike and is also connected with the AC load, while the other side of the AC load is connected with the neutral. The other side of the R3 resistor is connected with the main terminal 2 and is also connected with the 220 volt AC. 
Pin number 4 of the MOC 3021 is also directly connected with the gate of the BDA16 trike. A variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Arduino. This variable resistor will be used to control the light intensity of the AC bulb. While the other two legs of the variable resistor are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. All the connections are exactly the same as explained in the circuit diagram. Variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0. The output of the zero crossing detector circuit is connected with pin number 2 of the Arduino while the demo circuit is connected with pin number 3 of the Arduino. Now let's discuss the Arduino programming. Integer 0C is equal to 2. A wire from the zero crossing detector circuit is connected with pin number 2 of the Arduino. Integer trike is equal to 3. The anode pin of the MOC3021 is connected here, which is used to control the BDA16 trike. Integer V resistor is equal to A0. Variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0. Integer brightness. Integer VR power is equal to 7. Pin number 7 will be used to provide 5 volts to the variable resistor. As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the white setup and white loop function. White means that these functions are not returning any values while the empty parenthesis means that these functions are not taking any arguments as the input. The white setup function executes only one time when the Arduino board is powered up. Serial dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication while 9600 is the baud rate. Set the trike as the output of variable resistor as the input and VR power as the output using the pin mode function. Activate the interrupt 0 which is on pin number 2 of the Arduino while angle is the user defined function which is executed every time the rising edge is detected. Then starts the while loop function. As you can see the while loop function has no code. White angle. Angle is a user defined function. It has no return type and it takes no arguments as the input. Brightness is equal to analog read of a resistor. Simply read the variable resistor and store the value in variable brightness. Then using the map function the minimum and maximum value is adjusted. Then turn on and turn off the trike with a delay of 50 microseconds. This delay can be changed as per your requirement. This program can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.